Hello, uh, just a brief update. I've not been on for a couple of weeks. Um, doesn't mean I haven't been doing anything. I've been away a little bit as well, so uh, things have been a bit slow, but uh, stuff's still been going on. Um, the main thing I've been doing is um, basing up these Celts. Um, I finished painting all of the Warlord Warriors a little while ago, uh, about 180 of them, something like that in total. Um, I was going to see how well they went with the Victrix and maybe combine a lot together before I based them, but in the end I decided that um, they weren't entirely compatible, um, so I've just based up the Warlord ones now, which means I've got enough for, again, uh, I think I've shown sort of cavalry chariots, skirmishes before. I've now based up all the warriors, um, so yeah, we've got enough, uh, got enough for a game. The Victrix ones I'll carry on with in the background and get those based up in due course, and uh, then there'll be more for a game. Um, so yeah, uh, not the most exciting job in the world, but finally finished. I picked up a massive su um, supply of MDF at uh, Salute, um, and uh, yeah, now put it to good use. Um, in the end, I wasn't sure exactly how to base them up, but I decided in the end that this was this was probably the way to go. Um, the uh, Warlord figures in particular are quite dynamic and of odd angles and take up quite a lot of room, um, so you can't really scrunch them in together and they kind of lose that irregular warband feel if you do, I think. So I settled on these, I think, were 75mm by 50mm bases in the end, um, getting five figures on each. Um, they seem to sit on quite comfortably. And um, yeah, they look pretty, pretty uh, fierce and ragged at the same time, which was the kind of look I was, I was hoping for. Um, yeah, so I'll, I'll maybe put some stills up at the end as well, so you can see them a bit more closely. But yeah, that's that's what we've got. So we've got a good, got enough there for a good game. Um, in terms of the rules, I've sort of been thinking where to go with it. Um, in the end, I think uh, me and a couple of friends got together and decided we'd have a go at um, to the strongest. Um, there are a lot of uh, mass battle ancient games around at the moment, so very very difficult to uh, choose what to use. And lots of them get very good write-ups. Um, so uh, yeah, I'm not saying we've picked the best necessarily, but uh, hopefully it'll work out for us. Maybe planning to have a game of that next weekend. So I've got a little week or so to brush up on the rules. Um, I've now got the figures to go with it. So uh, yeah, all, all systems go with this one, thankfully. Um, yes, yeah, so that's where we are with that. Um, there's a couple of other things to show as well, um, so we'll come back to you in a second. I've also done a little bit more to my um, Victrix Naked Fanatics. I showed these off before, um, but uh, I said at the time that I wasn't sure what to do about tattoos. Um, well, I just basically didn't think the artwork was up to uh, painting intricate designs. Um, and I had some good feedback, so uh, yes, good people got back to me in the comments and with some good ideas, and thank you very much for that. Uh, so that's really nice. Um, put a few of the ideas together. Um, a lot of people talked about the importance of mixing in a bit of, um, make, make, well, basically making the blue very watery and mixing in some some flesh tone, uh, which which definitely gave me the sort of colour colour I was looking for. And um, it was actually Lee Hughes was really helpful. Came up with a, a really good idea of rather than trying to paint intricate designs, um, just 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 putting um, patches of woad on them. Um, very much like sort of woodland Indians in the French Indian War kind of kind of thing, um, and it, he, he actually very kindly sent me a couple of photos that that, that he did, he'd done of his own, and they look really good actually. Um, and I thought that's that's within my skill set, so uh, yeah, I've given that a go. I haven't put them all like this, but about three quarters of them I've used just 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 a selection of, of um, blue markings basically. Um, yeah, which I fairly pleased with. I think it kind of gives the effect I'm looking for um, without, as I say, pushing my brush skills further than I can uh, than I can realistically achieve. Um, so yeah, so, so that is these guys These guys finished now. I just need to, to varnish and base them. Um, I've got about 48 other Victrix Naked Warriors from the, from the, from the, from the, from the normal pack, so just, just normal warriors, not Naked Warriors. Um, so we'll be painting those up shortly and that will then get mixed together with these guys. Uh, to make a few more bases um, along similar lines to the other ones I've, I've just shown. Um, once I've done that, the army's kind of finished, although I think Victrix are bringing out a couple of packets of cavalry later this month or next month, which I might find difficult to resist. So we'll see how we go with that. But yeah, we've definitely got plenty for a game now. So, uh, and when these are done as well, it'll be even better. So, um, yeah, so I just want to say thank you very much, Lee. Really appreciate that. It was really kind of you to uh, to, to do what you did, and it really, really helped me out. So uh, thank you very much. If there's anything I can do in return, let me know. Um, 
there have been I think it's Gavin in particular has been talking a bit about community spirit uh, recently and that's just a, just another really good example of how people are prepared to help each other out and, and, and do things they don't need to do so thank you very much a um, couple of other bits and pieces to show and then um, I'll, uh, I'll leave you to your evenings or days whatever time you're watching this it's evening here obviously yeah I've also been putting together all the shields for the Victrix, uh, Victrix figures um, these are obviously the shields from the pack and they're transfers from the little big man studios which look really nice actually um, picked up quite a few packets of those to go with the shields I've got so I've now got shields for all the troops um, these just need varnishing and then gluing on when all the painting is done so so they are coming together um, so I just need those uh, those 48 other warriors to paint but uh, at least I've got the shields done now so, so it's, it's all good progress um, coming along um, next thing to do um, which I will show a bit more of when I've finished um, well I can maybe put a couple up now if you bear with me I guess you just thought, thought this through before I did it. Try and raise that up a little bit. Yeah, basically, um, cavalry lancers for the uh, Anglo Zulu War British. Um, I've shown off before, I've got. Uh, quite a few infantry now, I've got some guns, or a gun, I've got um, quite a lot of Zulus, so yeah, just got some uh, just got some cavalry. I just bought eight lancers basically and eight dragoons. Um, in using the many would be kings, every cavalry come in a units of eight, so that's about right. Uh, and I've literally just primed these and started painting the horses. Um, so yeah this is their the next thing to do and then once they're done I'll have my British force sorted for that so that'll be that project completed um, and then I'll maybe come back and finish off the Celts and uh, gradually we're getting through our project and getting them completed so yeah this is the next thing so these were AW miniatures by the way uh, if anyone's interested really really lovely figures actually I was really impressed with them um, they weren't too expensive either um, came through the post very quickly um, the horses needed a little bit of cleaning up but nothing dramatic uh, the riders were, were really nice, no flash at all on them really. Um, so yeah, no, they're really pleased with these, and that's the next thing, uh, the next thing to do. So yeah, as I say, as and when they're done, I'll uh, put those up as well. Oh, the only other thing I've done recently, actually, while I think of it, I nearly forgot, um, is this guy, a uh, Celtic druid. Um, he came. It's actually a, a freebie at uh, Salute. My hand now gets in the way of a light, which is helpful. Yeah, it's a freebie at Salute. Um, I renewed War Games Illustrated subscription there, uh, which I was always planning to do anyway. And uh, that came free with it, um, as well as a uh, 20 quid voucher for Warlord, which I used to get a couple of Napoleonic blisters. So that was uh, that was really nice. Um, yeah, as I say, um, didn't take very long to paint, really. It's not a very complicated figure. Um, but yeah, it'll go in nicely with the Celt army. Um, the rules, some sorts of rules out there, do allow you to have sort of druid characters, druid figures. Certainly, be good scenery as well. Um, so yeah, I was quite pleased with him. Uh, not bad for free. So yeah, that's uh, that's pretty much where we are at the moment. So uh, thanks very much for watching. Thanks for subscribing. Um, hope everyone's doing well. Hope the projects are going well. Keep keeping. Uh, I'm keeping up with the videos. So uh, yeah, keep them rolling, and uh, we'll speak to you again soon, no doubt. Thanks again. Take care.